Now, domain of a function. So what do we mean by domain of a function? So if I have a function, right? As I said, the function will take inputs, right? So domain is basically defining all the valid inputs. Right? All the valid inputs that can be put into this function is basically the domain of that function. So generally we are talking about numbers from minus infinity to plus infinity. Right? Can I give everything in this whole number system as input or should I actually you know give only certain things? So that's something that depends. So what would be the problem if I give any value, right? Why would something not considered as a valid input? It is like if it cannot throw a valid output, then the input that is given is definitely not counted as a valid input. So what do I mean by valid output? You should technically get a real numbers. Right? We are we are talking about all of this in real numbers sort of it. So the input should be real numbers and the output should also be real numbers. You should not get something like an undefined situation or complex number situation. You know, all of this, uh, you know, if I get outputs like this, I would count these to be a not part of my domain or not considered to be the valid inputs. So what am I meaning by that? What do you mean by that? So let's take a function like f of x is equals to 1 by x. So what is what all are possible values for this? I can give everything and anything in this, uh, you know, the whole number system of real numbers except 0. What's wrong with 0? If I take x as 0, what will I get? 1 by 0 is not infinite. We take that as infinite, but it's actually undefined. So the reason what I'm saying this, so 1 by x is like 1 by 0 if x is 0. In this case, I'm getting 1 by 0 is undefined. So the output is not valid, invalid output. Hence, 0 is invalid input. So what will be my domain? The way we'll write is this minus infinity to infinite except 0. So that's why I'm putting minus and then this flower brackets. So you'll see three types of brackets uh, which we'll discuss or we have discussed depending on the way you've seen the videos in the equations or inequalities, but I'll just revise it again. So if I write that 2 to 10 like this, this is a range. That means x can be anything from 2 to 10 including the endpoints 2 and 10. That's the meaning of the square bracket. That means x can be 2, 2.0001 to 9.999 and also 10. All of these are accepted. These are all correct values for this. When x is, you know, uh, belongs to or is in between this range. When I write the same thing as 2 to 10 with a circular brackets, it means almost the same the entire range except that the endpoints are not counted. That means x starts off with 2.0001 to 9.999. It can't be 2 or 10. When I write it like flower brackets, what do I mean by that? Only 2 and 10. I'm only talking about whatever I write in the flower brackets. And for infinities, minus infinity plus infinity, we'll never put a square bracket. We'll always put the circular brackets. So I'm saying everything in the number system minus infinity to plus infinity. Except, so that's why I'm putting minus circular sorry, flower bracket zero, you know, except this value, everything else is accepted. A minor tweak to this, okay, let me say if I have f, I, f of x is 1 by x minus 2, when will this be, you know, what will be the domain of this? As long as my denominator is not zero, everything is fine for me. So when will the denominator be zero? When x minus 2 is zero, x should be 2. When x is 2, then the denominator is zero. So everything from minus infinity to infinity is okay for me, except 2. Why? Because when it is 2, that will give me 1 by 0, which is an invalid output. That's why 2 cannot be part of my input. You know, this is one standard thing that you need to look for. 1 by denominator, denominator should not be 0. The other type is this. f of x is defined as, let's say, square root of x. So what is square root of 9? Uh, it's plus or minus 3. Be careful on this, right? It's not just plus 3. It can also be minus 3. What is square root of minus 9? So this is, you write it like this, 9 into minus 1. So square root of 9 is 3, plus or minus 3 to be precise again. And square root of minus 1 is not 1 or minus 1, it's called imaginary number i. You cannot do square root of a negative number. So square root of some number, for example, square root of 9 is 3, basically means 3 square is 9, or minus 3 square is 9. 
right what square would give me value as minus 1 none of the numbers that we know can give because anything squared will be negative negative is positive 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 is positive it will never give me a negative value for squares so that's why we call it as imaginary number i so i square is considered to be minus 1 that's part of complex numbers complex math so that is also not counted to be valid output for me so what will be the domain for this i cannot have negative value for x right if i have x as minus 3 square root of minus 3 will be you know uh, let's say x as minus 4 rather so i will get 2i as my output plus or minus 2i as my output which is complex and i won't count that so for that reason invalid inputs will be all the negative numbers negative numbers are invalid for me 0 is fine square root of 0 is 0 that's okay square root of 2 square root of 4 as i said square root of 4 is plus 2 minus 2 so if f of 4 is basically square root of 4 is plus or minus 2 one input sometimes gives the multiple outputs that is you know one to many function mapping uh, many to one so let's not get into that function mapping part but that's okay that's accepted that's what i'm trying to say but i cannot have an input which is you know negative which will throw me a complex number as output which is not counted as a valid output so for that reason what will be my domain for this everything sorry it should start from zero to infinite and zero is included so that's why i should have square bracket i can have everything in the past two and including zero that's why i'm putting a square bracket here as i said infinite will always have the circular bracket so zero to infinite everything in this zone is fine for me as valid input anything other than this like minus one minus 0.5 all of those will give me complex numbers and we will not count that as a valid input. You know, these are the, uh, again, square root of x and etc are important, right? If I say a function like f of x is equals to square root of x minus 2, when will this be throwing me negative? When x, so I should look for x minus 2 should be greater than equals to 0. Everything is okay for me, right? If x minus 2 is positive or equals to 0 is okay. So that will happen when x is greater than or equals to 2. If x is 1, 1 minus 2 will give me minus 1 inside. So that's also not accepted. Unlike here, we had 0 to infinite, right? So that case it should be. So when you have square root of something, make sure that inside expression should be greater than or equals to 0. And then according to that, you can do the value. So it can have 2 to infinite is the answer for this. You know, that's how you need to find the domain. Find the domain of the function f of x is equal to 1 by square root of x square minus 4. As I said, if you see this, immediately you should be thinking, okay, there are two problems. The denominator should not be 0. And the value inside the square root should be positive or greater than or equal to 0 actually. Right. These two should be your worry. Once I see a square root, the value inside square root should be greater than 0 and the denominator should not be equal to 0. What is value inside the square root? So x square minus 4 should be greater than or equal to 0. But because if I have equals to 0, right, when x is 2, for example, 2 square minus 4 is 4 minus 4 is 0, I will get this expression as 1 by 0 that will make my denominator go 0. Again, that's a problem. That's why I should not have 0 as equals to here. So simply both the rules are satisfied if x square minus 4 is positive. If x square minus 4 is greater than 0, the value inside will not throw me complex number as output. And if as it is not equal to 0, square root of x square minus 4 will never be equal to 0 and that will not make the denominator go as 0. So I just need to solve this. So x square minus 4 is greater than 0. So if you don't know how to do quadratic inequalities, this is like x square, don't do this way. The doing this way is wrong. Like send 4 this side. So don't take the x is greater than equals to plus or minus 2. This is absolutely wrong. Right. When you say x square minus 4 is greater than 0. Split this into x square minus 2 square is greater than 0. a square minus b square is a minus b into a plus b. Right. So generally you see what are the roots for this. I mean what are the points. Or rather I call them as critical points in a way minus 2 and 2 minus 2 is coming from this x plus 2 i equals to 0 so x is equals to minus 2 and x minus 2 equals to 0 x is equals to 2 so these are my critical points so critical points are the points for which this expression will be 0 and the sign of the whole expression will change so minus 2 and 2 from minus infinite to infinite 
so this is one zone this is another zone and this is another zone in these three zones one of them will be positive and then negative and positive i'll see alternative signs like that so i just need to figure out in at least one zone what is the sign okay so first and foremost as i said you see a quadratic inequality make them as a square minus b square like you know even if it's a slightly complex you can convert x minus a into x minus b once you know the roots once you get it as of the form x minus a into x minus b is greater than 0 less than 0 greater than equals to 0 less than equals to 0 these are the only possible inequalities so i call a and b as the critical points once i know them in the number line minus infinity to infinite a and b the smaller and then the larger so minus infinity to a i will see one type of a sign the entire zone will have either positive or negative the a to b will have alternative this is positive this should be negative and then positive negative positive negative that's how the signs will change right so because i need to have x square minus 4 is greater than 0 is positive this expression should be positive when will they be positive okay let me take one example here let me take 0 for example right minus 2 to 2 will have 0 so if x square is 0 i'll get 0 minus 4 is minus 4 that is negative so this entire zone is negative minus 2 to 2 take any value you want as I said, minus 2 and 2 will give 0. Those are the critical points. So they will give 0 if I substitute x as minus 2 or x as 2. In between those, I will get negative. So automatically, this should be positive and this should be positive. Minus infinity to minus 2. I am not including because if I put a square bracket, it means I am also including minus 2, which will give 0 as answer, which is not accepted. And 2 to infinite. And so that's why I am putting union, that is both. Anything in this zone or this zone will make x square minus 4 positive. Everything between this, right? If x is minus 2 or 2, it will give me 0. Between minus 2 to 2, it will give me negative, which will give me square root of a negative value, which is a problem for me. That's why the domain is this. Right? If I take minus 10, for example, what is what will I get? 1 by minus 10 square minus 4. That's 1 by minus 10 square is 100 minus 4 is 1 by square root 96. Whatever the value be, it's positive, I'll get some value for this. Right? Anything and everything from minus infinity to minus 2 to 2 to infinite. That's how you should solve a quadratic inequality. Make them as x minus a into x minus b. b these are roots, okay? You, even if you don't know, you can just solve. If you have seen the equations video, minus b plus r minus square root of b square minus 4 ac by 2a, you will get the roots for this. For equation, let's say 3 and minus 2 are the roots. What would this expression look like? x minus 3 and x plus 2. Because minus 2 is the root, it should be x plus 2. Plus 3 is the root, it should be x minus 3. Draw the critical points. This should be minus 2. This should be 3. You should be writing roots, not what I write here. Okay, I write minus 3, don't write minus 3 here. It should be the roots. Minus 2 and 3 are written here. So you'll have minus infinity to minus 2 is one zone, minus 2 to 3 is another zone, 3 to infinity is third zone. According to which you can find the signs by assuming some value, I can take 0 for example, and find which of them give me positive, negative and solve. Right? 